Hey, welcome back to our podcast, your go-to source for all things real estate and lifestyle in the heart of Fort Worth, Texas. I'm Jackson Christian Mary. And I'm Jean Christian Mary. <laughs> and together we're here to guide you through the vibrant world of Fort Worth and surrounding suburb living. We believe in creating a community where everyone feels at home. And that's why we're committed to bringing you honest, expert advice in a fun and friendly way. From the bustling streets of downtown to the serene suburbs, we've got the scoop on what makes each area unique. Each week we'll dive into the latest market trends, offer tips for both buyers and sellers, and share insider knowledge to help you make informed decisions. So whether you're a first time home buyer, a seasoned investor, or just curious about some of the Fort Worth charming neighborhoods, you're in the right place. Let's jump into today's episode. Welcome back. You are listening today with us on um, our podcast, and our podcast is called Welcome Home Fort Worth. So today we've got a wonderful. <laughs> I love it when you do this so much because it's almost like what What are we doing? What are we doing here? Who, who are you? Let's just keep it. Let's just keep going because this is the best intro we've ever done. I love it. Let's just keep it going. This is great. So <laughs> this is brilliant content. Is this, is this your content? This is awesome. Okay, we're, we're giving you the content today. So with us today is a wonderful uh, speaker to talk about solar. So we get a lot of questions all the time about solar solar panels? Should I put them on my house? Should I not? What What do they do? Yeah. So uh, we're really excited here to have Lisa Manson with us. And she's going to talk to us today a little bit about all that and um, enlighten all of us. So Lisa, yeah. tell us a little bit about you and what it is you like to do and just sure. how you yeah. got into solar. All right. Um, well, first and foremost, I'm a Texan. Nice. Yeah. Uh, my family goes back to this area mm, probably 200 years. You're kidding. You're right. Wow. Yeah. This area. My great grandparents. Well, actually more of the... Um, West Texas okay, area, cool. kind of yeah. Lubbock, uh-huh. Brown Field. Okay. You ever heard of that? No. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So there's still a family farm out there. Whoa. Wow. Um, cool. And, uh, but when I was younger, traveled around quite a bit, but our roots are here in, in Texas. Nice. I've mm-hmm. been in the Arlington area cool. um, for 40 years. Nice. <laughs> nice. Very cool. <laughs> I know. Um, and then, uh, you know, a homeowner yeah. for 37 years. Yeah. Awesome. So we have two children. They're both cool. grown. We are the empty nesters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So nice. We've got uh, two four-legged friends um, that we love at home. Named what? Um, standard poodles. Uh, we have cayenne. Cayenne. I love cayenne. that. Cute. She's red, the color of a cayenne. <laughs> yep. Very fun. Very fun. And uh, then we have Sadie. Sadie, and classic. Sadie, Diamond Lil. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> yes. She and has three names. <laughs> yes, Sadie, Diamond Lil. And she is, uh, she is a hoot. Um, she's 14. Wow. And we're just loving her. Yeah. She's white and yep. just a, she's, she's been a little princess. So Cayenne's yeah. two and a half. Oh my gosh. So we've got a baby in the house yeah. and we Fine. have a senior yeah. in the house. Does Cayenne, so. is Cayenne spunky as you would expect oh, from that she name? Is, okay. She yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. Is. Spicy. Yeah. Spicy. Exactly. Yeah. Well, exactly. That's why we call her named Cayenne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cayenne yeah. Pepper. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my little spice girl. Uh, is, love is it. what I call her. So, That's so fun. Yeah, but she's, she's a joy. Good. We love her and we love to travel, take road trips. Yeah. Um, you know, long rides up to Lake Arkansas oh, to uh, Lake Washita. Yeah, oh, very cool. That's a beautiful lake. Uh, Broken Bow. Nice, all the spots. Yeah. We, my Broken wife and I just got a retreat uh, a package or whatever we won mm-hmm. to go to Broken Bow for the first time. So we, oh, we've heard just yeah. fantastic things about it. So we're super excited to do You're it. You're going to love it. Yeah, uh, that's what I hear. It. Yeah, We've been going up there since before it was even that well known. Yeah. And now it has just exploded. Yeah, for real. Yeah. That's what I hear. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, There's, they're building a like casino up yeah. there. Yeah. They oh, really? Yeah. Wow, it's blown up then. Big casino, lots of great bed and breakfast. Yeah, sure. Restaurants. Very fun. Breweries, wineries. There you go. Wow. Very fun. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so, so that's uh, that's kind of what we like to do. It's cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. cool. How'd you get into solar? Oh yeah, good question. Oh, since goodness. that's why you're here. No, I know that's why you're here. <laughs> no, solar. Well, honestly, you know, like six and a half years ago, I knew absolutely nothing about solar energy. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Which I think I think a lot of people yeah. are in that yeah, boat today. I mean, mm-hmm. e- even real estate agents, we yeah. are around solar, but we don't know the ins and outs. We're excited to hear about it today. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And I, that's why I'm so glad to be here because I had a, you know, I've, I've learned so much in the last six and a half years. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, my background came over 30 years in corporate training and development. Cool. And so yeah. I worked with the, with corporations, large corporations, and implemented, you know, fleet safety and training oh, wow. programs cool. to educational programs. And about... 10 years ago, um, I transitioned into um, import exports. Okay. So I was doing a lot of international travel, manufacturers representative for American manufacturers okay. of gourmet food, beverages, and health and beauty Fun. products. Okay. So how did I get into solar? Well, <laughs> um, I had this experience. I had a trip and I was going from Dallas, Fort Worth to Melbourne, Australia. And then from Melbourne, Australia, over to Shanghai, China. Wow. And when I got to the airport, I was looking at my itinerary, 
And one of the monitors from DFW in the Shanghai at that time was black. And I, that was, you know, concerning because yeah. five days from now I was supposed to be in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. And I asked one of the flight attendants why that was. And she <laughs> said, well, the air pollution is so bad in Shanghai that we cannot land the planes. What? Oh, gosh. Yes. And so I was wow. concerned about that, right? But I went to Melbourne. It was absolutely beautiful. Sure, sure. Clear skies, blue skies. Yeah. And I noticed when we flew in, solar panels everywhere. Interesting. Oh, I, mean, I didn't know I they really did that in Australia. No. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. And so then fast forward, you know, about five, six days later, the, it went from black to orange. I go yeah. to Shanghai. And this was before COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The entire population was wearing masks. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I've seen I've seen pictures. Yeah. 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 And it was because the quality of the air was so bad. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so then go forward a few years after that, um, I needed an opportunity. Right. Mm -hmm. I'd been in corporate America. I'd been traveling. I'd been away from my family, away from mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. I really didn't want to start over. Yeah. yeah. So sure. Yeah. And someone asked me, she was a friend of mine. She lived up in Kansas City. And she said, Lisa, have you ever looked into the solar industry? Mm. And Jean, yeah. I got to tell you, I had like goosebumps. <laughs> cool. I had goosebumps. Oh. It was like, it was like, <laughs> just all lined that up. That was the moment. And I was like, cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I want to really learn about this industry because mm -hmm. I see that it could really make a difference. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I kind yeah. of. Yeah. And, and stark contrast kind of ways from that strip. Yeah. That's so interesting to hear the back to back like that. Wow. Yeah, it was like, okay, this epiphany right yeah. coming through. And yeah. I've been in third world countries before where people didn't have electricity. Wow. Yeah. Um, you know, trying to yeah. sell food. Sure. You know, sure. where people didn't have places to actually cook it. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, store it. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of things that went on and I learned a lot. I mean, I loved what I did, yeah. mm -hmm. but it was just time to cash in the passport. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I did. So I mm -hmm. interviewed with five traditional solar companies here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Mm -hmm. They all five. Said, yeah, come on, we love cool. it. Cool, there you go. On. Okay, <laughs> yeah. and there I go. And I picked one that I thought was the best. Uh -huh. And they had a two week training program. And what was surprising to me was during that two weeks, they taught very little about solar energy. Oh. It was all about processes and procedures oh, sure. and oh, okay. these types of things, okay. how to right. use our computer systems yeah. and how, you know, these types of things. Yeah. Right. And so there was a lot of learning on your own and yeah. tagging people, yeah. following mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the industry's not regulated. Oh, is it not? No. Jeez. Okay. No, kind of like the roofing industry is not regulated. Sure. Okay. Now, in some states, like I am licensed in California. So okay. there's a to license. sell solar. Uh -huh. So I am licensed. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, Maryland has a requirement. Illinois, you have to register with the state. Texas does not? No. Wow. Okay. No. And so anybody can knock on your door and say, oh. or put a sign up and mm -hmm. say, I'm a solar energy okay. company. Let's go put solar yeah. on your house. house. Which, which brings us to, you know, mm -hmm. we discussed before about the scams that happen sometimes mm -hmm. and people coming and trying to sell solar. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that's, that's, that makes sense. It's not yeah. regulated. Yeah, yeah, and and, and um, sometimes I, you know I wish it were. Um, yeah, totally. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Now I work with a lot of really good, reputable uh -huh. people. Yeah. I wouldn't, uh -huh. they wouldn't be in my circle, right? right? Sure. Um, but that's important to me. You know, mm -hmm. is the is really training and education, and mm -hmm. you know, there's good things about solar. There's bad things about mm -hmm. solar. It's yeah. not for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if a house doesn't qualify for solar, yeah. that homeowner needs to know. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a big investment. Yeah, yeah. sure. It's a big investment. Mm -hmm. It's a big decision yeah. to make. So if, a, so if a homeowner wants to, they're considering solar, mm -hmm. what would you say are the, what's the benefit of that? And what's the return on investment yeah, great, that a homeowner yeah. can look forward to? Yeah. I love that question. Everybody wants to know what's the return on that right, investment, right? right? Yeah. What, how do I get, you know, how, yeah. what is the investment? Yeah. So think of it, you know, if you're in the real estate industry, mm -hmm. right? So you're working with homeowners. Sure. How many homeowners do you work with for the very first time? They've been renting mm -hmm. a house, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they've been running this house forever, and now they can finally own something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have a choice. They can continue to rent, right? Pay somebody else's mortgage. Totally. Or they can get into a mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. That mortgage mm -hmm. payment might be more expensive mm -hmm. than what they're yeah. renting at, right. Yeah. right? So why would they even consider that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a long-term investment. Yeah. They want yeah. that ownership. Uh -huh. yeah. Solar is the same thing. And we've been conditioned since over 100 years. Yeah. I mean, the grid's over 120 years. Old. Oh, Jeez. is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And people have been paying an electric company to have electricity delivered to our homes, mm -hmm. right? And we just, we're renting it mm -hmm. time and time and time mm -hmm. again, and nobody's been introduced to there's an alternative oh, way to Oh, you can to buy it. This. Oh, on it. That's interesting. Okay, okay. sure. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. yeah. So, sure. so why? You know, so, so when I got into solar hmm. and I did my math and I've been in my house for 28 years at the time, okay, cool. mm -hmm. I'd spent $95,000 buying electricity. 
Wow. Renting oh, wow. electricity. Wow. Yeah. Because you've been a renter for 28 years. I've right? been yeah. renting. Yeah. I've been making my house payment. Yeah. yeah. And right. then soon I'm going to own my home. Wow. I can do the same thing now that I have solar. Wow. Okay. Is yes, I have a solar payment, but once I pay that off, I own my system uh -huh. and I'm producing electricity mm -hmm. for the next 25, 30 years. Yeah. And so that's mm -hmm. it. So when somebody asks me what the ROI is, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, well, what's your ROI on your electric bill? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Which is nothing. Yeah, when are you <laughs> yeah. going to pay that off? Yeah, 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 right. if, you, if you go to TXU <laughs> yeah. and say, I want to buy my electricity yeah. for the next 30 years, yeah. Yeah. how much should I write the check out yeah. for? Yeah. I don't know. So um, I brought some examples. Cool. So, so you know, not everybody has these great results, um, but when it comes to before and after, mm -hmm. and that's what the assessments and the consultations right. are for. Yeah. Yeah. We need to know how much electricity that home consumes. Yeah. Cool. Uh -huh. You know, do you have children at home still? Nope. No, you do have children at home, right? Okay, <laughs> so would you say, because you've got two children uh -huh. at home, yep. that you're probably gonna use a little bit more electricity just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just a little like bit. for the next probably yeah. 15 years. Yeah, that right? sound machine home. runs all night long. Yeah. So yeah, they're just in yeah. that alone. Uh -huh. <laughs> and all the laundry. Yes, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> all the laundry. Um, so one thing, when we when we look at a utility bill, mm -hmm. um, we're buying electricity. So you've heard of Encore. Sure. Right? So let's mm -hmm. talk about the grid for a minute. The, here in the United States, there's three grids. There's the Eastern grid, the Western grid, and here in Texas, our country of Texas, <laughs> we have what's called ERCOT, right? We're, we've oh, okay. got, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so this is our own grid. And um, here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, when you go out and you look at your meter, it says Encore. Right. Mm -hmm. Encore is responsible for, for the poles and the wires, okay? okay? Then you shop for electricity. Okay. You'll do something like a TXU sure. mm -hmm. or a Reliance yeah. or a Pulse yeah. or a Chariot yeah. or, you know, there's probably 15 that you can choose from. Yeah. Yeah. Just like if you needed to go and buy a gallon of gas. Sure. Yeah, you, know, mm -hmm. you go to Shell, you yeah. go to Exxon, you go to Walmart, Anywhere. you go to Costco, whatever, yeah. right? Right. So it's the same gas, yeah. Yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Same electricity. You're looking for the rate. But on that, there's a cost to delivering that electricity. So they're charging you like a retail rate, mm -hmm. they're charging you a delivery rate, mm -hmm. and then they're charging you these different fees. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, and so this is a homeowner that I put solar on his house. He was averaging about $450 a month wow. on electricity. Where's electric an older yeah. home. Okay. It was kind of a log cabin sure. style house, not energy efficient at all. Yeah. This is his current utility bill. This okay. is his most recent bill. Do you see that number? Uh -huh. 396. Yeah. Well, negative 396. Negative? Yeah. That's yeah. a so negative. He's making money, I would assume, in that scenario. That's a negative $396. Yeah. So, so, right, he's got wow. $396 banked up. In his credits, Interesting. Right? that when these, and this is just from his February bill, mm -hmm. right? January, February. Mm -hmm. So, and if you see these graphs, he's using the most, and we here in Texas, you know, we get 100, 110 yeah. degrees, right? Uh, for real. So, sure. we're using the most electricity when we need our air conditioners in mm -hmm. the summertime, yeah, like June, July, August. Yep. So, yeah. he's going to be able to use those credits. To oh, for the higher down. months. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. Right. Yeah. Right. Offsets so it. They're cool. rolling over. Okay. Cool. Those old rollover okay. minutes. So, so if the panels do don't make enough for that month, then this rollover will kick in. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Now this is the great situation. Not everybody gets this situation. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, some homeowners, I can get them 60% solar, uh -huh. and then they're only paying 40% to mm -hmm. the utility company, okay. if that much. Okay. Right. So it's still 60% ownership over mm -hmm. owning nothing. Yeah. And is that based on the way that their house is is receiving sunlight, is that the deal? Yes, okay. yes, because you could have two identical homes side by side. Uh -huh. And just like in real estate, you mm -hmm. have a homeowner that says, how much is that house? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're gonna say, I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, yeah. what features are in that house? Mm -hmm. Does it have crown yeah. molding? Does it have tile? Right. Is it granite? Or is it, you know, the, the standard builder mm -hmm. rate? Yeah, of course, mm -hmm. yes. You know, and so each house is different and so is it when we're assessing it for solar. Um, how are they using that house? Hmm. Okay. Um, is it an, is it a you know, retired couple, empty nesters yeah. that you know my husband has a workshop. Nice. You know, yeah, we don't have any kiddos at home. Yeah, but we yeah. have them come yeah. on vacation. Yep. Um, we have a guest room upstairs yep. that once in a while we'll have company come over. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's just us. But you know, 15 years ago, our life was different. Mm -hmm. Sure. You yeah. know, we yeah. had the neighborhood kids over, we had sleepovers, <laughs> we had all kinds of things. Going yeah, of course. On, right. <laughs> right. Um, and you have a home, one home might have a swimming pool in the back. Uh -huh. Another one might yeah. have a big workshop, and so their needs for electricity vary. Okay. Okay, and so we have to, you know, as a professional, really consult with that homeowner <clears throat> and see how we're using your home. Mm -hmm. 
so that I can design the system accordingly. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to affect what they need. Yeah. What do they need? Right. Yeah. Because we don't want to yeah. overproduce too much. Now, this particular homeowner here, we know in the summertime, he's he was used use to it. getting $600, $700 mm -hmm. yeah. bills. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's going to have by then probably six or $700 built up in his credits. Okay. Yeah. And our goal with him, because he had the right roof, was to get him to where he had zero to little no utility bill moving forward. Cool. Okay. 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 So you're really trying to basically zero it out as much as possible. As much as possible. You don't want to mm -hmm. overproduce. You don't want to underproduce and they have to pay money. Okay. Right. Okay. Because right. if you overproduce, it sounds like you don't get access to, like, the, the you know, the uh, uh, TXU or whoever the company is, is not going to pay you back what you I overproduce. I love that question. Right? Thank you for bringing that up. So what's really important, and this is, you know, I hear people say, well, solar doesn't work. Or I've got two big bills. And I'll see things posted on Nextdoor sure. and Facebook. Yeah. And I'll reach out and I'll say, which utility company did they transition you over to? Okay. And oftentimes what happens is the homeowner is still paying the bill from their original plan. And they got their solar installed and they weren't switched over to renewable energy. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, So okay. they're not getting credit for their okay. solar. Okay. And now it looks bad on the industry. Well, sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, now it looks yeah. bad. Because yeah. you are paying two bills at that point. Yeah. You yeah. are, yeah. you are, absolutely. Okay. But, yeah. but it's because they weren't advised to do it correctly. Right. Oh, and I that see. has to do with sometimes that lack of training. Um, yeah. How you know, easy is it, is it to switch those plans? Oh, instantly. You, you can do like that. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's instantly. no instantly. anything involved in that. Okay, cool. Yeah, and sometimes it's just knowing that you need to do it. Yeah, you yeah. need to do it, and an advisor yeah. should direct that homeowner mm -hmm. and do the shopping for them. Yeah, okay. yeah. To say this is because yeah. they change those plans change. Sure. Um, and I do that as a service for my homeowners okay. when nice. they're ready to go solar. Okay. Cool. We get them on the right plan so that they're maximizing their solar. Yeah. And minimizing their liability to sure. the utility okay. company. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's one thing when somebody says it's not working, and that means be it. Um, oftentimes, sometimes it's the system isn't designed. Um, let me show you something here. We're, when we're talking about grids, yeah, right? Grids. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here's Texas. Well, I think I think this is really, I love that you use the word grid because this is kind of a hot button thing in Texas yeah, post, really is. post yeah. freeze, yeah. you know, and post free, you know, everybody freaking out about that. So this mm -hmm. is really interesting to hear about these grids. Yeah. Yeah. When we get into the history of the grid, and I've done a lot of studying yeah. on this. It's just, you know, seven years ago, my family thought I was nuts. Talking about electricity like this. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Wait, yeah, yeah. Mom? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. But, yeah. but now I dive into, I listen to the podcast. I read books. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And I, you know, what so podcast would you recommend for people to listen if they want to know more? Um, there's one on solar. There is a solar energy podcast. Cool. Okay. Which you can If you go on like Spotify or something, yeah, you just search for in, you search solar. Okay. There's a great book that I'm listening to called The Grid. Okay. Um, and that's on Audible. Cool. So okay. I'll listen to that sometimes if I'm working out, yeah. you know, doing things like that. That's great. So, yeah. Because it gets into the history about how did we get here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. especially with Texas being our own grid, mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and we're not connected to the rest of the yeah. country. Right. You know, just, you know, we are Texas. Yeah. <laughs> and then we love it. We love we our are independence Texas. too. Yeah, for sure. We yeah. love our independence and we yeah. love our oil. Right. Yep. And so then there's that, I don't want to get into politics, but you know, we, there's oil and there's a place in for, for oil. Right. There's a place for renewables. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so when we look at our natural resources, there maybe there's a better way that we can be looking at using them. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so, when I'm, when I'm talking about a deregulated area, that gives us the freedom to shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's where you can go to the TXU, the Reliant, the, basically the grocery store for electricity. Okay. 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 When we're in a regulated area, now we're talking about co-ops. Now, okay. co-op is you're fixed and you're locked. Yeah. Like um, CoServe, if you... you yes, know, of course. Yeah, yeah, Right. CoServe, you've got Tri-County, you've mm -hmm. got TV. Yes. There's 80s. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've tried kind of before. Yeah. 80, 80 different co-ops in the state of Texas. Oh, just in this state. Wow. wow. And if that solar consultant doesn't know how that co-op works with solar, uh -huh. that homeowner could be taken wow. advantage of or not getting the maximum okay. well, benefit of course. from yeah, the of course. Because some co-ops yeah. won't buy their electricity. Interesting. They'll, so the way that solar works. So you're stuck. You yeah. put you just bought solar panels, but, but you didn't. You, you can't, can't use, use it. Them. Well, you could. So you can use. So how solar works is this in a nutshell? So without solar, there's the grid, there's the meter, mm -hmm. and you're just buying electricity mm -hmm. right. by a kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. So just like you go to the gas station, they're charging you by the gallon. The grocery store, it's by the pint or mm -hmm. by sure. the pound. Solar energy is built by the kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. And so every time you turn on a light bulb, you open the refrigerator, you just, it goes ka-ching, 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 and mm -hmm. it's billing you for mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. usage. With solar, we put solar panels on the roof. There's an inverter, and the job of that inverter is just to convert the sun's electricity into what you need for your house. Sure. Yeah. Right? So yeah. when the sun comes up, boom, mm -hmm. those solar panels are providing electricity for that home, mm -hmm. for that homeowner. Mm -hmm. I work from home. I run my house on solar energy. Yeah, it's cool. pretty cool.
Hey everyone, real quick before we get back to the show, if you're on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, we'd love to connect with you. We post a lot of content like this in case you miss an episode, along with more Fort Worth and surrounding suburb, local insights and finds. You can find our team at the Christenberry Group on all social platforms, or you can connect with Jackson and I personally on our Facebook and our Instagram accounts. Just be prepared for lots of pictures of my grandson on either account. Now back to the show. Now, any extra electricity that I don't use actually turns the meter backwards. Okay. For Encore. Now okay. we're talking about regulated, yeah, the, yeah. the deregulated yeah, areas. Deregulated. Okay. Yeah, not, not, not the co-op. So now you're, you're depositing, you're depositing yeah. credits into okay. your safety deposit box, say your bank account, right? Right. And then at night when the panels go to sleep, uh -huh. the sun goes down, now you can now pull you can back. Yep. And now you're using, that's why we're able to get like this gentleman to where he's got zero to no utility yeah. bill because at night he's using those credits and then in the day he's overproducing and all of those extras just gonna roll over, roll over until he gets into those high usage months. Yeah, okay? sure. When we're in a co-op, it's a different story and they're each different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's something that- That's a hyper-local like, hyper oh, thing that you, okay. you as yes. the advisor have to be aware of. Yeah. Yes. So that's yes. a big question you wanna ask somebody who you're talking to about buying solar. Right, I need to know what your utility bill is. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's gonna tell me here at Co-op is I was at a town hall meeting mm -hmm. with Tribe mm -hmm. County yeah. last month. Yeah. Um, and I talked to Wise County last week uh -huh. because I've got two homeowners in two different co-ops that wanna go solar yeah. and I wanna make sure that, I'm, that they're getting the best yeah. Yeah. system yeah. based on what that co-op is going to allow them. Okay. Gotcha. Wow. And they've changed, both of them. Uh, TVEC has changed, they changed in August of wow. 2023. Oh, wow. And Wise County changed their buyback policy. Wow. Too. Okay, Which so is, that can't wow. change. I mean, yeah, so you yeah. gotta be on it, yeah. yeah. Once you get on it, you can grandfather <laughs> wow. in okay. and get locked in, and okay. then if they change it and that's a better plan, then yeah. you can move over to that new or plan. Or you can stay. Wow. Or you can stay, Okay. right, right. Interesting, so, so, so a, a seller rep, needs mm -hmm. to know these kinds of things. Yes. So these are these are the questions to ask the seller rep. Yes. To see if absolutely. you're shopping with somebody that's reputable. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They should be doing that homework for the homeowner. Yeah, for sure. The homeowner's not gonna know. Yeah, exactly. I, mean, yeah. I didn't know yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, would I, would, I wouldn't even know to Google that. Like yeah, as much as we have access to, to Google yeah. and stuff like right. that. I would not even know to go onto Google and ask that question. Right. So that's really fascinating to hear about. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. What about technology? So mm -hmm. I hear a lot of times people talk about they bought a system several years ago and now the technology has changed and they can't use their system like they were using it before. Uh, they did, there's upgrades that happen and now it's not all matching. Maybe the upgrades aren't interfacing like they used to. What do you, what do you hear about technology changing and all that? Yeah, technology is so interesting. Um, so, and I, I have had people say, well, I wanna wait until technology changes. And it's yeah. like, yeah, if I you waited that. until technology changed, would you ever have a cell phone? Never. Right. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, you know, never. What? You know why wait, why wait? Yeah. Because yeah. it's electricity. Yeah. yeah. So, so when we're talking about solar for the home, it's the solar panel, it's the inverter, and it's the racking system to get things mounted, and it's mm -hmm. the electrical systems to get everything talking to each other, okay. right? Yep. That's what we need. It's that simple. Cool. So it doesn't, so I installed my solar panels four years ago. Mm -hmm. I've got 335 watt panels. Now we're up to 405 watt panels. That's, bigger that's panels. the latest, okay. Yeah, that's the latest, and okay. they'll probably keep getting bigger, but for me, it doesn't matter because I've got my own electricity. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, it will never go out of style. It'll never no. get defunct, okay. No, no, and okay. now, you know, um, you know, solar, you know, we've got these beautiful, I call them sleek, black on black solar panels. Uh -huh. They look really cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. You know, five years ago, they were kind of yeah. blue and white. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. They And were. they yep. popped out, yeah, they did. you know, and yep. so, yeah. but now, yeah, so they have gotten like sleek. Uh -huh. Good. Um, and as far as with the technology, I think what we're moving towards now are the whole smart homes. Mm -hmm. Is kind of that futuristic, mm -hmm. the Justsons, we are here. Yeah, you yeah. walk kind in. Yep. yep. Sure. Right. And so yeah. um, we're, we're looking at home efficiencies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, using yeah. our homes smarter. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, where they actually have what's called a smart panel that we could install if somebody wants a battery. Yeah, the battery. Talk about that because people want the batteries. Okay. So so yeah. another, another um, I think, misconception out there, Gene, is that I have solar energy, therefore when the grid goes down, I'm good. I've got electricity, got right? Got my it. panels are producing away. Well, wrong. You know why? Because there's an automatic safety disconnect from the solar system to the grid. You can't be pulling back your electricity when people are out oh. there working on it. Sure, right. Yeah. Things happen. Yeah. Right. right? So yeah. so if that's a concern, and I always ask my homeowners, yeah. mm -hmm. what do you do when the grid goes down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a concern? Yeah, is that a big deal? What yeah. happens if and if yeah, they say, oh, good. gosh, we were out of power for four days mm -hmm. and I want to yep. go through that again, mm -hmm. yep. I said, well, let's look at a battery system for you. Yeah. Okay. So how the battery works, now there's three ways 
for the battery. Okay. We can use a battery. Mm-hmm. Um, one is uh, if the if the grid goes down. Mm-hmm. You know, people want that for backup emergencies. Mm-hmm. And so when I work with a homeowner, I can say we've got a home essential mm-hmm. battery, and we've got the this is what you want. This would be nice, and then we've got the whole home mm-hmm. backed up. So that's another. You know, part of the yeah. consultation right. and like when the right. grid goes down, what do you have to have? Hmm. So the home essential would have maybe your refrigerator, just you, you determine the things that are most important when the grid's down and that'll power that? Yes. Is that how that works? So they, okay. they set up a, a sub, so how they do it now is we'll set up a sub panel uh-huh. and then you tell me what you oh, need interesting. working. And so it routes that to that. And it oh, routes it to the, the, okay. right, the refrigerator, huh. the stove. Okay. I was the thinking that the, the homeowner bedroom. would have to be conscious of like only powering those things, but it really is linked to those outlets that those things are plugged into. That's fascinating. Right, yeah, yeah. so that, that's, that's cool. how we do it now. Yeah. With the smart panel, mm-hmm. this is kind of cool. We don't need that sub panel cool. anymore. Okay. Oh wow. So the homeowner, okay. maybe they're on vacation in Cancun yeah. or something like that, right. and they're watching their house from their app, Sure. and now they can tell what they have to have powered on and where they need that battery oh my gosh. going. Wow. Oh. So if you had like a 150 gallon aquarium, but you, but you wanted not to. I wanted on my not, little pet no, your fish to die. die. Right. <laughs> or something yeah, you like that. Yeah, feed my fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, save my fish, you know. Keep um, it going. Keep yeah, it going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that, that's, that's kind funny. of the, yeah, the, the smart, the, that's what's happening. And, and with that, so my understanding, just from what you're saying, is yeah. that that would then, so the smart router, would you wouldn't need to specifically route two panels. The smart panel would just send it where it needed to go. Is that correct? And the homeowner can pick and choose. Right. right. So yeah. the smart so, panel yeah. can learn your habits. Yeah. Cool. That's kind of the cool thing. You're like, that oh, she likes wild. her coffee starting at seven o'clock in the morning. And she likes, <laughs> that cool? you wow. know, oh, that's let's start crazy. the car. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. yeah. That's like with Alexa all working with the whole, yeah, whole the experience. smart home. Yeah. You know, she likes, you know, these, the temperature set at wow. 74. Right. Wow. And it's all already happening. The light comes on in the kitchen. Yeah, it's and all you, good. It yeah. recognizes your habits. Wow. Yeah. And it starts doing things for you. Wow. I know. Um, yep. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Mm, yeah, no, that's, that's I know, a it's little. Kind of, yeah. I know, I think it's, <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's a very cool concept. <laughs> it's, it's, but, oh, it's, wow. It's, it's what's happening. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's here. Yeah, it is here. Wow. Yeah. So, how do people finance? How does. Yeah, I was going to That's what I wanted to know. How does that work? For sure. Because honestly, for me, where that question comes from, We've had a lot of clients have issues selling their mm-hmm. home when they have the loan yeah. on the solar panel. So this is really good for us to know. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so there's three ways, right, to purchase a solar system. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, one is cash. Sure. All out. Okay. Yeah. You know, yep. Cash. Somebody has the cash and they just want to pay for their system. We can certainly do that. Cool. Uh-huh. Um, cash is good. Um, a traditional solar loan. Um, these are these are very uh, valuable because, you know, taking out that big chunk of cash out of your savings or whatever mm-hmm. may not be the best use of your money. Sure. And you can find yeah. you an interest rate at like three to four to five percent. Okay. Okay. That's so hot. I've got int- I still have interest rates at about three point four nine. Do you right 4%. now? Oh, okay. okay. What what so, which affects those? Because like for us, yeah. like interest rates are a huge thing right now, obviously. So what affects yeah. is it the same things affecting your interest rates or yes. what? Okay, cool. Yeah, the okay. same, the same. Okay. Because two years ago I had one point four nine. I had point oh, okay. nine nine. Good. Okay. So we've free seen, money, wow. Okay. Yeah, we, we've seen yeah, free money. Yeah. We, we've yeah. seen that go up. <laughs> And yeah. um, so if somebody is wanting to finance, we typically look at somebody who's making a minimum of, say, $40,000 mm-hmm. um, credit score of six fifty dollars mm-hmm. And we can get them into solar financing. Okay. 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 And and there's a tax credit. Oh, is there? Yeah. There is a federal yeah. tax credit for yeah. those of, who pay cash or who buy their system through really? a loan. Interesting. Um, and it's from the federal government. Wow. So it's called an ITC. Um, oh, yes. I, I've, seen a, I've seen a TikTok about this. Wow. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, mm-hmm. a test, it's a tax credit. And so how this works is this, and I like to use round numbers. Say okay. the solar system is, say, $30,000. Cool. 30% of that is $9,000. Okay. Right, 9000 So <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I'm not in a math. Good job. Not my forte, right? Good job. So, um, nice. so there's $9,000 of a tax credit for people who work and pay taxes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Now, I'm not a CPA, and I always tell my homeowners, sure. I'm not a CPA. That's a great question sure. for your sure. CPA, or if you do your taxes. This yeah. is the tax form. It's IRS Form 5695. When you file, if we get your solar panels installed in 2024 by December 31st, then when they file their taxes in 2025, they can claim a 30% federal tax credit okay. for that $9,000. Okay. Now, maybe they owe tax. Maybe sure. they have to pay. Right. Sure. That can reduce sure. that liability. Right. Of course. Um, and maybe they didn't pay all of $9,000 in. They can claim what they can and then carry that over. Hmm. Okay. And that includes batteries. So if somebody needs oh, a solar system batteries. and wow. battery backups, wow. that 30% of 
highest okay. standard. And battery well. can be okay. financed as well within everything. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's yes. Really yes. Okay. Um, and then there's the lease option. Okay. And so you, the with the leasing option, the leasing can be very beneficial um, for a couple who maybe they're retired and they don't have a tax credit. They mm -hmm. can't get that $9,000 mm -hmm. sure. back. Okay. So they, they can get a lower payment. We call it a P, we, they can do a PPA, which is a power purchase agreement. Okay, so they don't that. ever own the system, mm -hmm. but the solar panels on the roof and they're just buying the electricity that those panels produce at a lower rate than what they're paying okay. with the utility Got company. It. Okay. And that would, if they were to sell that house. That's, that's what I was about to ask too. Yes. Yeah. It's just about the same thing. Yeah. So how that, does that, how that does that work? The lease yeah. would go with the home. Yes. So people okay. still have to qualify for the. To transfer the lease. The, the right. new owner does, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's because we, we run into that. Yeah. We yeah. have had that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And, and you know, and it's, I, I wish there was this. Perfect little sure. Yeah, of course, of course. This sure. all works yeah. um, beautifully for everybody. Yeah. You know, there's still some things that make it difficult. I always ask my homeowners, "How long are you going to be in the house?" Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, for yeah. sure. That's a great question. Yeah, how long are you going to be in the house? <laughs> you got to know that. I, yeah. I, That's this a good happened, question. Yeah. This happened Saturday. I yeah. kid you not. Saturday, I was talking to a homeowner. He was interested in solar. I said, "How long are you going to be in the house?" And he said, "I'm selling the house." <laughs> I said, "Why are we talking? <laughs> why, are we, why are we talking? Why are we doing this?" And he said, "Because the buyer gets what he does. He buys houses and he flips them. He flips okay. them for oh, six he months. Buyer he already had a buyer, and he already had a buyer. Gotcha. And that buyer went and sold it. Gotcha. But I'm like, why am I unique? Why unique situation. They better be in a contract. Very, My gosh, very unique situation. <laughs> that wow. was a unique situation. That was a unique situation. That was a unique situation. That was a unique situation. But the wow. buyer who was buying the house already knew that they wanted yeah. solar. Yeah. So he yeah. It, was, so it was an incentive at that. They point. wanted it yeah. already set up and staged for that. But yes, for the most part, if somebody's okay. not going to be in the house for yeah. more than three years, and we know life happens. You know, sometimes emergencies right. happen. Mm -hmm. um, but if there's a new homeowner, they're coming in to buy a house that has solar, and that's where I want to be a resource, like yeah. for realtors. Yes. Or yes. Oh, absolutely. Older people, if they don't yes. really understand. You've been a resource for us before. We appreciate that. Yeah. 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 Well, keep me. I'm, I'm happy to do yeah. that. Gene. You yeah. Know, I just and I want to, you know, as you help mm -hmm. more realtors understand because you're going to be selling homes. Mm -hmm. Yes. With solar. More mm -hmm. and, and more and more and more. Big time. Yeah. Yep. We really are. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. When we when we look at well, just the country as a whole, but let's just talk Texas. Sure. We are one of the fastest growing areas. Yes. In I know. States. It's 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 yes, staggering. Yes, we are. Yeah. I know. <laughs> the statistics yeah. are crazy that we keep popping up on. It's really it's mm -hmm. wild. Yeah. 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 And I want to say, um, twenty three or thirty percent of people moving into Texas are coming from California. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're saying that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so, and they they they're very familiar with solar, yep. but they're paying exorbitant rates for electricity. That's they're almost a, a a. That's interesting. That's a. I guess you can call that a cultural thing. Yeah, yeah almost there, there was being there would be an expectation of solar, mm -hmm. and if it's not yeah. there, then it's it's at least going to need to come at some point. That's interesting. Hmm. Right, right, because there's they, they when you're in California, um, and I was just there, you know, a couple of months ago, mm -hmm. and I do I work with homeowners in California. Um, they're paying three to four times. What we are here in Big Texas. Wow. wow. You know, we're at 14 yeah. what, cents. What is it? Yeah. Is it just the rate over there? Like, oh what, my gosh, yeah. what is it? The utilities. It's the okay. They so, have a monopoly. So, so they're not buying different panels that are that are priced higher. No. Right? So that those are apples to apples panels, apples to apples system. Yeah, exactly. But it's just it's the, rate. the utility. Wow. It's it's PGE, it's SDGNE. Wow. Um, they are charging exorbitant rates for electricity. Wow. We're seeing 30 to 50 cents a kilowatt. I have a homeowner wow. in a 1,400 square foot house. She's elderly. She's paying $900 a month. Oh, my gosh. For electricity on a fixed income. Oh. Yeah, that's rough. In Northern California. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. So, the seller's very helpful in California mm -hmm. for those reasons, of course. Yes. Yeah. And I would assume ge geographically as well, it probably is in California, too. I don't know. It's Sunshine State. It's like Sunshine. Sunshine State. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, yeah. A yeah. it's a yeah. Sunshine State. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful state. It's a progressive state. But... We could have a whole podcast about what's going on in California. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. We're in Texas. Um, You're right. I, well, and here, here yeah, like, I know. Well, here, like what you said, it the, is. the grid is the concern here. Yeah, big time. The, yeah. Because the grid yeah. went, you know, mm -hmm. going down and all that. That's the biggest yeah. concern here, I think. Yep. Yes, yes. And it's 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 the weather. It's the age of the grid. Yeah. I mean, they say, yeah. you know, Tom and Edison walked into, looked at a power plant today. It would be exactly the same as it was. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. So it is old. It's expensive. Wow. Yeah. To keep up with, people are seeing on their utility bills now uh -huh. extra surcharges to pay for oh, absolutely. the damages that occurred Jeez. because of Snowmageddon. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Go yeah, back and remember the name. Snow that's right. Yeah. Snowmageddon. Yep. Snowmageddon. Yep. Snowmageddon. Yes, and it's going to continue. Yeah. So, Lisa, this is very helpful. I mean, this is information we never knew anything about. Yeah, so for sure. A yeah. lot of this is very well, and, and, and we what we've encountered is is very. Yes. It's, it's a problem usually. It's yeah. on the I mean, back end. And it's on the yeah. back end. They, yeah. didn't, they didn't know about the yeah. how, how it would transfer. It, it causes them yeah. issues. And so this is 
really helpful for us on the front end. Absolutely. If we're mm -hmm. talking to folks who are thinking about solar, obviously we'll keep mm -hmm. you in mind, of course, but mm -hmm. and send them your way. But the, we can advise them on the front end quickly mm -hmm. just to say, okay, we got to talk about the three types of, is it, are we going to do a mortgage with it? Are mm -hmm. we going to do mortgage? Are we going to do a financing? releasing it or you just buying it cash out. Yeah, that's, when you plan on selling. Yeah, that's the biggest thing yeah. we encounter yes. with it. And yes. our first time home buyers, I mean, just this basic seller info about if you're considering seller, mm -hmm. give us a call yep. and we can connect them with you because you're reputable and you're going to take care of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess what I'd like to know is like maybe top four or five points of what would be the things that you'd say to people if they're interviewing an installation company? Mm -hmm. What what are like the, the bullet points? Like make sure that they do this, 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 and this. What would you say? I would say make sure they've been in business for a while. Yeah. Okay. Make sure, you know, who is doing the installation. Where are they sourcing their panels from? Okay. You know, we've got panels made here in the U.S., USA, um, and, uh, you know, where, um, what kind of training. When we're looking at the whole system, mm -hmm. there's a lot of solar companies that have just gone out of business. Yes. Sure. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. And, and when you're working with someone, you know, you make sure that they're that they're rock solid. Mm -hmm. um, that they know what they're talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. um, the company has financial solid backing yeah. with warranties. Yeah. Okay. Um, because I, I have, so here's the, here's the story. Um, about a, last summer, I met with a homeowner in Grand Prairie, husband and wife. They love the solar. We're going to save them a lot of money. We signed the contracts. They got qualified for a loan. And about three weeks later, they canceled. Mm. And I, they didn't call, and I called because mm -hmm. I'm like, well, tell me what happened. I yep. can help you. you know, yeah. Please explain to me what did I, you know, mm -hmm. let me help you here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they never returned my call. They kind of ghosted, right? Sure. Four months later, I got this call and she's crying. She said, Lisa, she said, oh my God. She said, somebody knocked on my door a week after we signed and they told me that I could do it cheaper. Mm -hmm. They put the panels up and they're out of business. They're answering the phone and the panels don't work. Oh my goodness. Wow. Because they thought they were going to save $5,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, what happened, there's, there's, <laughs> and we call them permit poachers. Okay. You know? okay. Yeah. Cool. Permit so there's poachers. an interesting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've heard of that. Yeah. No, but, yeah. And they actually, you know, they, their permits are, their uh, public information. Yeah. Right. So they'll go and they'll say, oh, somebody just pulled a solar permit. Let me go see if I can't steal that contract. Oh, okay. Um, so I would say, you know, get, get a couple of bits, talk uh -huh. to mm -hmm. at least three people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, if it's underpriced, I would walk away from it yeah. because mm -hmm. you want to make sure that company's going to be around, right? Yeah. People have to get paid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Suppliers have to be paid. Yeah. There's yeah. a cost to doing business, yeah. right? There's cost to everything involved mm -hmm. with that. So, yeah. you know, work with, you know, get three different bids yeah. um, and see what questions they're going to ask you okay. when they're doing, you know, First, they should always be asking for your 12 months of history. Well, that's, yeah, yeah, I mean, oh, I feel like I feel like if anybody's watched this, for people who have watched this today, like the questions that you've already provided us to, yeah, to make sure that they, they are asking yeah. is, is like dire. They need to know that. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people, I, I I lived in a neighborhood on the on the north side of like kind of the Fort Worth. Uh, it's almost like the Fort Worth uh, Roanoke kind of line that we have there. Uh -huh. <laughs> And I mean, it was a neighborhood that had solar people walk knocking every yeah. single, yeah. like four times a day. And it was somebody new every time. Yeah. And so I, I would not have known to ask them questions like this. And mm -hmm. I don't think that I don't think they were the kind of folks, just from my impressions, that would have asked me questions mm -hmm. like this that would mm -hmm. are crucial to knowing yeah. my, my system. They would have given so, you the right system. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. yeah. So so it's gonna start usually late spring, early summer, exactly. all summer long. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. And what <laughs> yes. happens is they bring these young college kids, yep. high school grads yep. down from Idaho, from you know, St. Louis, from yep. Salt Lake City, yep. you know, Utah. And they put them up in hotels mm -hmm. for two or three months. How interesting! And they knock doors, and yeah. they'll bring you know twenty seven, okay. you know twenty five, thirty of them. Because I know I talk to them. All. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah. sure. And so, and they'll go through these, and they just canvas, and all yeah. they're doing is setting appointments and selling solar. And yeah. then they get mm -hmm. back on their airplane. They pay for their college that way. Uh huh. And they get back on their airplane. And they go home. Wow. Okay. Um, I bought pest control from a company who did that. And yeah. I was uh -huh. like, well, you know, it's pest control. Uh -huh. Can't right. hurt me, right? Uh -huh. You know, just gonna go and help these kids go to college. Yeah. But when you're talking about a lifetime investment, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, make sure, you know, because you've got to have, you got to understand the local rules, the local regulations. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I sell solar all over the country. Yeah. I can do that because I get the licenses and I sure. understand what the different utilities are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you necessarily have to, you know, work with somebody here, mm -hmm. but you're, insta you're installer, yeah. the people who are actually doing, the they need to understand mm -hmm. all the permitting requirements yeah. because they change. Yeah. yeah. City yeah. code changes. Yeah. And, um. So that's that's really important okay. you know, to really Heck understand. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. You that's know, good. And then, and then understand what the storage options are too. I think yeah. more and more people need to understand yeah. the benefits of storage. And yes, it is a cost 
to that, mm-hmm. yeah. but it gets into that that priceless mode. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, what yeah. happens yeah, if the grid yeah. hadn't come back up yeah. in sure. four or five exactly. days? Sure. You still you know, we could have been down for a long yep. time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You, mm-hmm. You've got that protection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And there are a lot of, I think everybody has a memory associated with yes, that. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Yes. Camping, it was like camping out for yeah, a week. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. tough on a lot of people. And it was, it, to your point, it was like, yeah, if this went on another week, I don't know that it would have, it would have mm-hmm. been a lot, it would have been a lot different experience for everybody. A uh-huh. lot of people within a few days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Within yeah. a few days, there was no, we're running out of food. Right. We couldn't get out of the oh, gas. Yeah. Exactly. We're running out of exactly. gas, oh, propane. Yeah. 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 They get um, a little desperate. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a little desperation mm-hmm. sent in. Mm-hmm. Lisa, this is good information. Yeah, we cannot thank you enough for yeah. this. Thank really you, really because you've really kind of opened the, kind of pulled back the curtain a little yeah. bit okay. on solar. I think a lot of people don't really know all this, and it's it's yeah. going to help a lot of people for their, their shopping and for how they're going to yeah. do Yeah, how that. they approach it, even, yeah. just the process the, of doing it. The decision yeah. of it, yeah. I hope so, because yeah. they, they, it's yeah. a choice. They have to make that decision, yeah. and I think as long as they have the right information to make the de- best decision for mm-hmm. themselves and their family, yeah. it can be a fantastic yep. decision. Yeah, 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 definitely. For sure. Tell everybody how to get in touch with you. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm Lisa. And I spell it, thank you, Mom. Um, L-E-E-S-A. <laughs> Lisa. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Peace, Mom. Lisa. Um, at solarsunshine.earth. Okay, cool. And that's my website as okay. well. So okay. www.solarsunshine.earth. Cool. You can find my website. Okay. Um, you can book an appointment with me or just call me. Huh? Um, you know, happy to talk to anyone about your utilities, about your bill, about mm-hmm. your roof line, mm-hmm. to see if solar is a good right. fit or not. And yeah. if it's not, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah for cool. sure. Yeah, you would. Cool. Well, and, and we've also got some great handouts that Lisa brought today. So yes. if you're interested in those, all you have to do is DM us and let us know mm-hmm. about that. Get in touch with us for that. And uh, anything else you can think of? I think it's all. Thank you again. We appreciate mm-hmm. the information. Yeah, we thank you for taking it. care of our people. Mm-hmm. I think you're help doing a big service for us and yeah. for, the, for everybody uh, out there. So well, thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. And mm-hmm. we'll see you about next week. See you then. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for watching the podcast today. If this has been valuable for you at all, we sure could use your help getting the word out to more people. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, go ahead and give us a follow and consider taking just maybe two minutes um, to leave us a review. Both do wonders for our show with the algorithm and on both platforms, all you gotta do, head over to our show page on Spotify, hit three dots and select rate. And on Apple, all you gotta do is just scroll down to the show and say, leave a review. So you just click that. If you're seeing this on Facebook or Instagram, a like or comment puts all the good vibes out in the algorithm for us. And on YouTube, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new episode. Join us again next week for more Fort Worth housing news and updates. Until then, y'all have a great week.